Hey guys, what's up? This is Brett. Welcome to this week's Friday in the Turntable. Thank you guys so much for participating in my uh, thread from last week. A great second albums. I had many responses and they still keep coming in. So keep them coming guys. I had a blast doing that and responded even shooting a second video. So anyways, today I'm talking about uh, Lou Reed's Berlin album. That is my featured record of discussion this week. Uh, came out in 1973. You know the drill before we talk about the record I'm going to show you give you some context of what else came out in uh, 1973 I imagine this one probably comes to most people's mind immediately and that's Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon for sure 1973 uh, David Bowie's Aladdin Sane excellent album he also had another one come out this year all covers that, um, called pinups you guys Possibly may know that one and how about the New York Dolls debut album? 1973 as well Sabbath bloody Sabbath from Black Sabbath also 1973 and Kind of a tie-in to this album uh, Into the Lou Reed Berlin's album is uh, Alice Cooper's billion dollar babies what does Billion Dollar Babies have in common with uh, with Lou Reed's Berlin album? And that is the fact that both records were produced by uh, Bob Ezrin, which we'll get to in a minute here. So uh, this is Berlin, Lou Reed's third album after uh, leaving the Velvet Underground. His first one was self-titled, which shares a song in common on this album, Lou actually did a cover of one of his own songs to start uh, the album off, and the track is the title track, Berlin, which was on his first album from 72, but in the, uh, the style that it's done in this album brings it more of like a cabaret, nightclub, piano, smoky bar um, uh, feel to it, which is co a common thread throughout the album. And, uh, and, Lou, and you know, Lou actually recycled several songs for this album, whether they were songs that were originally done in the Velvet Underground or demos or whatever, even the track Caroline Says Too, which, which was an early, uh, which was done in the Velvet Underground as uh, Stephanie Says, and it's a track that I remember hearing <clears throat> on a compilation tape that I had back when I was a teenager. And I was familiar with Stephanie Says, and then when I had heard uh, Caroline Says, it's pretty much just a, a swap out of the names in a way. In a, in a way. But um, this came out in July of 1973. If you're unfamiliar, and it followed the Transform album, Transformer album, which had uh, Walk on the Wild Side, Perfect Day, um, Satellite of Love. Um, Berlin is a pretty extreme departure. And, uh, you know, not that Lou Reed didn't cover themes that on this album that he did in the Velvet Underground. I mean, you're talking about that first VU album with, you know, the tracks Heroin, Venus and Furs. I mean, he was covering some pretty dark, dark subject matter. But the Berlin album is is essentially about a whole breakdown of a relationship, a marriage. I mean, it's just, it's just this dark, dreary descent, and um, the music is this dichotomy of like sprightly in ways you know with strings and horns and orchestral you know with these kind of beautiful melodies going on but the lyrics are, are in in the vocals are it's just this really dark subject matter you know covering drugs and um death and you know just all kinds of just you know it's it's just a it's a it's a it's a downward spiral um so we'll get to that more in a little bit but um the album contains one of my absolute favorite songs of all time which i just, just talked about caroline says too so july 1973 his third album produced by bob ezrin bob ezrin of course produced alice cooper many albums from alice cooper he also produced kiss he did pink floyd's the wall and then also did the post uh, Roger Waters albums, Momentary Lapse of Reason and The Division Bell. Uh, he did a, a Jane's Addiction album in the mid 2000s as well, which was kind of random. Peter Gabriel. Um, yeah, anyways, and the cast of musicians on this album 
is just uh, a, a pretty spectacular. It has the Brecker brothers, Michael and Randy, on sax and trumpet. Jack Bruce from Cream plays bass on most of the album, and uh, Tony Levin plays bass on a track, and uh, you may know him from King Crimson and also from Peter Gabriel's band. Uh, Ansley Dunbar, who played Dunbar, who played with uh, David Bowie, also played with um, Frank Zappa, Journey. And then you have the dual guitar of Steve Hunter and Dick Wagner, who also were the two guitar players that played on the tour for Berlin, Berlin which is captured on the Rock and Roll Animal album. And you can hear those two dueling guitars, and that's uh, Steve Hunter and Dick Wagner. Um, Steve Winwood from Traffic, and you know Steve Winwood solo plays organ on this album. So there's a, t a huge cast of musicians. I think Lou Reed actually sings, and then I think plays some acoustic guitar on it. So there was only really one single from this album, and that was uh, How Do You Think It Feels, which um, probably wasn't that popular of a single. And, um, and then there was a New Zealand single of Caroline Says One and Caroline Says Two, which are two pretty interesting songs, because when you look at Caroline Says One, um, which is on side one of the record, you kind of have... Uh, the story of a woman who's abusive to the man and then in Caroline says two the roles are reversed and it's the woman who's who's uh, being abused she's a drug addict and the lyrics to it are just uh, incredibly sad uh, if you've never heard this album I'd immediately recommend you know opening a new window up right after the video ends and uh, going and looking for Caroline Says too, and really listening to that beautiful acoustic guitar and just really, really sad but emotional. And it just really hits you hard. And it's, it, it, like I said earlier, it's just one of my favorite songs, um, favorite songs of all time. Uh, the closing track, Sad Song, uh, which I just had the record on uh, just before I hit record on the video. And, um, you know, it starts off with this little, like, almost like Edward Grieg-ish, like, uh, you know, like springtime, like it, you know, it's gonna sound ridiculous, like it could be the theme song for the Smurfs cartoon. And then the lyrics come in and, uh, you know, the, the it, I mean, only Lou Reed can, can sing a catchy chorus that says, I'm gonna stop wasting my time. Somebody else would have broken both of her arms. Sad song, sad song. I mean, just uh, just really intense. The song "The Kids" is about uh, the woman, the woman in the relationship um, losing her kids, and they're being taken away. And for the last, you know, a couple minutes of the song, you hear children crying and screaming for their mom, and it's just super hard hitting. Uh, super touching and uh, very dark. The track The Bed, um, which is another just excellent track, which just has this just just this like matter of fact feel and it's the the husband um, singing kind of to the listener and taking a kind of a walk through through their bedroom, uh, him and his wife's bedroom and he shows the bed that their kid, their children were conceived in. This is where they slept. This is her box of poems on the shelf. And then this is the bed where she killed herself. And you know, it's just a, a it's just, and then, oh, I just have to mention this. Then after that, you know, it's, he, he says that, you know, if he had to do it all over again, if he knew it would end this way, that he would have never started things. But then he admits that he's not sad at all about it. And it's just like, what? And you know, the album just takes you deep and dark within um, the human soul and the human condition. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a really strange ride to listen to this album. Um, yeah, wow, just, um, just very intense. But uh, I, I, I set aside the record back here because I wanted to show you. This is an original pressing on uh, RCA. You can see it with the orange label there. And um, I have it set aside here because uh, it doesn't really have a sleeve because it has a lyric book that it kind of goes into, which is really cool because it has photographs. 
kind of from for each song and, and it actually starts on the cover with the song berlin and it is the lyrics for that and the last song sad song is on the back and it has pictures a photograph for each song and that one about the bed where they're going through the he's showing the bedroom it actually has the picture there and there's the bed with the blood on it which is you know really just kind of devastating and uh and the the, the picture for the kids so it's really cool packaging on this one um yeah i think i probably have said all i needed to say on this album um it's uh there's my cd copy as well um recently uh, lou reed they did a film for uh for 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 berlin and where he had a cast of musicians and they uh they played the whole album live and it was uh, released as a as a dvd as a film um, I got to see Lou Reed, I think it was back in around 2003, and uh, really just an intense experience. Um, he had Anthony from Anthony and, John Anthony and the Johns, his plan, um, on stage, who would just kind of sit there. And, you know, I remember me and my brother were, were, were sitting there, and, you know, you heard this voice of like an angel, and we were just like, where is that coming from? And you see him just kind of sitting there in a chair, just dressed in black and uh, did a cover of, they did a, a rendition of Candy Says, an old Velvet Underground song, and uh, it was just heartbreaking, and just how the intensity and how uh, Anthony just embodied uh, the, the emotion and the spirit of those lyrics. It was just a really emotional outpouring. Uh, my brother and I both got to meet Lou Reed after the show, which was really cool, and um, yeah, just great. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, once again, let me show you the cover of this one. Highly recommend picking this up if you're, if all you're familiar with of Lou Reed is the Transformer album and you know perhaps the first Velvet Underground album. This is definitely needs to be in your collection. If not, you know, to, or even just to hear it one time, it's definitely, a, definitely a really great work of art. Lou Reed's Berlin. Thanks for watching, guys.